Hello everyone. Welcome to English LSRW. Today we are going to see grammar. To develop our speaking skill, it is important to have basic knowledge in grammar. Most of us feel grammar is very difficult, but actually it is not difficult. Today we are going to see a story about parts of speech. What story about parts of speech? After listening to the story, I am sure that you can remember all the parts of speech and the meaning of it. Now, shall we move to the story? Yes. Before moving to the story, we will see a short introduction about parts of speech. What is a parts of speech? A part of speech explains how a word is used in a sentence. It denotes the function of the word in the sentence. The way how a word works in a sentence. Do you know how many parts of speech are there? There are eight parts of speech. How many parts of speech are there? Eight parts of speech. They are noun, verb, pronoun, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. Now, shall we move to the story? Yes. There is a family. The name of the family is grammar. The name of the family is grammar. In all the family, there will be so many members, isn't it? Yes. Like that, in this family, there are eight members. How many members are there? Eight members. There is eight parts of speech. So, who will be the head of the family? Father and mother. Like that, in grammar, each and every sentence has two parts of speech. That is noun and verb. So, we will call it as father and mother. So, here comes our father. He is the father of the family. Do you know what is his name? His name is noun. His name is noun. What is a noun? Noun is a naming word. Noun is a naming word. It can be the name of a person, place, thing, animal, birds, fruits, vegetables, anything. It can be the name of anything. Next, we are going to see verb. Verb is a mother. We will call her as a mother. What is a verb? Verb is a action word or doing word. Verb is an action word or doing word. It is used to express an action or state. It is used to express an action or state. Now, this couple, noun and verb, has three children. How many children? Three children. A son and two daughters. A son and two daughters. The name of the son is pronoun. The name of the son is pronoun. The first daughter is adjective. First daughter name is adjective. Second daughter name is adverb. Second daughter name is adverb. So we will see about these children one by one. First comes pronoun. What is that? Pronoun. Pronoun. This boy is always very careful. Whenever his father leaves the family for some work, he takes care of the family and he do all the works what his father was doing. So, like that, in the sentence, when the noun is not there, this pronoun is used instead of a noun. This pronoun is used instead of a noun. Now, let us see about adjective and adverb. These two daughters love each other. But there is a difference. Adjective loves her father and brother very much. And she keeps on praising them. My father is like that. My brother is like that. She always describes about the noun and the pronoun very much. Adjective is a describing word. Now you all have understood that. Adjective is a describing word and it describes about a noun or a pronoun. Now we move on to the adverb. Unlike adjective, this adverb loves her mother very much. Whatever she does, it is only for her mother. She loves her mother more and she always modifies her when there is a need. So adverb, what is the adverb? 
adverb is a word that modifies or qualifies a verb now we move on to the next parts of speech in this family there are two other servants that is preposition and conjunction this preposition is the chief servant he is the official servant of his master he always denotes the position preposition denotes the position that is the relationship between two words it denotes the relationship between two words next conjunction conjunction is the family servant and he looks after each and every members of the family and he combines every everything together that is it may be a sentence it may be a word it may be a phrase or class anything this conjunction joins them together joins them together so conjunction is a word which joins a word phrase class or sentences together let's move on to the last parts of speech the last one is interjection the interjection joins the family only in the times of joy and sorrow we will use this word during a special occasion that is a happy or a sorrow now shall we have a recap of all these things yes first noun noun is a word used as a name of a person place or thing verb verb is a word used to express an action or state pronoun pronoun is a word is used instead of a noun adjective adjective is a word used to add something to the meaning of a noun adverb adverb is a word used to add something to the meaning of a verb preposition preposition is a word used to, to show a relationship between two words in a sentence conjunction conjunction is a word used to join words or sentences together interjection an interjection is a word which expresses some sudden feeling hope you all understand all the parts of speech and you can easily remember all these things if you like 